Good afternoon, sir. I'm candidate M201, and for the purpose of my exam, I've been told to cancel you. May I go ahead, sir? Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Now, sir, what is your name? How old are you, sir? Okay, what is your level of education, sir? Because are you comfortable in this environment? Do you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Would you want a family member or a friend to be here while we discuss? Okay, so I want to know that everything we discuss today will remain strictly between you and I, sir. All right, sir. Thank you very much, sir. And so before we proceed, I would like to ask you some questions. So, are you a smoker, sir? And since when have you been smoking? How many sticks of cigarettes do you smoke in a day, sir? So, have you ever tried quitting? And what made you relapse, sir? All right, sir. Thank you, sir. And what do you usually do when you smoke? Are you around friends? Are you only when you smoke, sir? Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. And so, I'm very happy that you are here today, as this is one of this is a good step. To stop it, to stop smoking, sir. And so, I'd like to tell you, smoking has so many negative effects on the human body, as it contains nicotine and as it contains nicotine and tobacco, which are dangerous for the um human body. They can cause mouth mouth sores. They can cause uh, they can cause ulcers in the stomach, sir, as it destroys the protective lining of the stomach. It is also a major risk factor of lung cancer and also um chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, sir. And, sir, uh, um, um, smoking as also, smoking is one of the major risk factors of, of, of almost all cancers, sir. And you stopping this is going to help reduce the um, chances of you getting this disease, sir. And, sir, even passive smoking, that is being around people that smoke, is equally dangerous. And you smoking around people that don't smoke increases, um, gives them, um, makes them passive smokers and increases their chances of having these diseases, especially smoking around children. So, so smoking is very dangerous, not only for you, but for people that people that live around you, sir. And sir, um to stop smoking, sir, I'm glad you are here today. To stop smoking, you have to pick a date, a cute a cute date. So you have to pick a date to quit. You have to pick a date to quit, sir. And on that day, you stop smoking completely. Every cigarette in the, every packs of cigarettes in the house, you throw them away, sir. And sir, I know this doesn't sound easy, and this is very difficult, sir. But don't worry, sir. We have a, we have a um support group in this hospital. I can register you immediately to this team, so they will help you. They will guide you on how to do this. This, this seems con consists of people that. Will, with smokers and have stopped, so they can use their experience to guide you and advise you, and you can also get tips from them, son. And so during this process, you might also expect, you might also experience what we call withdrawal symptoms, and this includes increased urge to smoke, and you can you might also feel agitated, you might feel restless, you might feel you might also notice that you have increased appetite. But so I don't want you to be worried, so I don't be worried about this, and don't go back to smoking as these symptoms are only temporary and will pass with time. Also, to make the um, quitting process easier, we can give you nicotine gum or nicotine patches as they will help you, as it will help, it will make you feel like, it will, it will help reduce the, it will help redu reduce the withdrawal symptoms and the, the withdrawal symptoms, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And sir, I want you to know that you, you, you stopping you stopping smoking is not only for your own benefit, but the benefits of the people around you, sir, and to help them to live more healthy, sir. And sir, also avoid people that smoke as as passive smoking is equally dangerous, sir. Sir, do you understand everything I've said? Do you have any questions for me? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir.